You know, my manager tried to convince me not to make this video. And by my manager, I mean my wife. And she told me that if I did this video, if I talked about how pay to win is the backbone of every MMO and these MMOs need to change, well, I'd probably kill my channel. But there comes a time when you just have to speak up about what you believe in in video games. And I think, honestly, that Diablo Immortal did nothing wrong. And I know I have said things contrary to that on this channel before, but this is my honest opinion. I believe that having multiple currencies is a good thing in games, especially a poorly ported mobile game onto PC. I think loot boxes are a great idea, or having very small percentage chances of getting loot and having constant, constant wheels of progress that you have to keep putting money into. But above all else, I think that having that in a game with PvP is fantastic. And that is why I have this call to action, this desperate need for every MMO to start thinking about things. And we're gonna go through a couple here that I really think need to course correct in what they've been doing because they have because they have distinctly lacked pay to win and that's not okay. Okay, so with the first one, EverQuest. I know that you've already been working on this with EverQuest 2, but it's time to to really bring out the pay for raid gear. Look, I know we already have it with Chrono, but that's so messy. Let's just cut the middleman. Maybe throw in a free 100% experience pot with every high-end piece of raid gear you buy from the SOE store. I, I mean the DBG store. Pantheon. Pantheon, Pantheon, Pantheon. Let's let's throw in some level boost. Soon as the game launches, get your boost, $100 max level. Then you can really experience the whole point of every MMO, which is the end game. Who actually wants to experience the leveling process and grouping and creating social connections? That's all bullshit anyway. And 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 on the subject, on the subject of grouping, how about we lock the cleric class? Now, now hear me out. How about we lock the cleric class behind a, a pay for feature? If you want to play the cleric, you have to pay an additional five dollars or maybe ten. And so and and then to make it really, really important, let's make it so that the cleric is the only class that can resurrect you. All those players in near death states, they're gonna need some kind of resurrection, right? And you know what? Since grouping is gonna be incentivized anyway, how about we add a negative group experience bonus if you do not pay a monthly subscription fee just for grouping? We'll call it, we'll call it a perk. You just add it on top of the subscription fee. Now, Ash the Creation, this one is so easy. Pay for PvP invulnerability. Say you want to run from one place to the next and you're worried that you really don't want to be attacked on the road. Pay for it. Just just it's essentially the same thing as like hiring bodyguards, but the bodyguards just happen to be intrepid. You know, same thing, same concept. But if you if you want to, like, we can add in something kind of fun to this, though. Let's add in loot boxes, but loot boxes in a distinctly Ashes of Creation way. So when you drop, when you when you get when your pay for invulnerability fails, how about you drop a loot box? And so the player that kills you has to get a key. They go get they go buy their key from the store. And when they buy that key from the store, they can open the loot box that was your corpse. Once they do that, it randomizes through the items you had. This will incentivize you to always carry around a bunch of crap because then maybe instead of getting that good piece of gear, they get some poop. World of Warcraft. Now, you already have the level boost. You already have the WoW token. It's time to start selling purples directly, especially the ones at low levels for players who want to dominate Warsong Gulch for the next three years and never level. Speaking of, add in a feature to lock experience, but you have to pay a premium each month. Level 20 to 29 Battleground Dominance comes at a cost, you know. Embers Adrift and Monsters and Memories. Look, y'all are just like, y'all are way too above board on this and you really got to get with the program. I mean, you at least have some kind of cash shop, maybe some cosmetic pets. We might, we'll start you off small, but you got to get going, y'all. Like, come on. Neverwinter. You know, you know, you're doing fine. Keep up the good work. 
Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have a great April 1st.